Welcome back to Outdoor Guys. Today we got a review on the Browning Strike Force Pro DCL. This is the Sub Micro Series with dual lens technology. So you can pick this guy up for $169.99 on BrowningTrailCameras.com. Um, I did not pay for this camera. Browning sent this to me. Um, I just wanted to let you know. So what we're going to do is, before I get into the video, I'll link down in the video description below if you guys are interested in any other of the Browning trail cameras. I do a ton of reviews on the Brownings. I'll list them down below so you guys can uh, get to them really easily. This sub micro series is new for me. It only takes six AA batteries. As far as setup and stuff I usually put in my videos, I'm not going to do it this time to keep the length of the video down. So I'll link a similar setup camera down in the video description as well. So you guys can uh, you can go there and if you need help with setup, that video will explain step by step how to set your cameras up. But we're going to put this out today. We're going to let it soak. I wanted to highlight real quick too some of the you know key features of this camera. 130 plus feet of adjustable infrared illumination. Um, it has the new Radiant 6 night illumination technology so it has six high power leds this is a 26 megapixel camera this does photos and video we're going to test both and i'm going to put sample footage in this video for you guys to see this can capture up to 15,000 images on six double a batteries which is awesome another feature i'm really interested in this 2022 uh, strike force pro dcl model is the wide view 54 degree camera viewing angle i'm really interested to check that out hopefully we can catch some deer in a wider frame i haven't had an issue with the brownings in the past though they've been excellent so i'm not too worried about that as far as all the other features guys if you want to head over to browningtrailcameras.com they'll have all that listed and you guys can also compare cameras there um, they have sd cards batteries tree mounts you know anything you guys need to get you know your camera running out in the field um, you can head over there for all of that stuff one more thing i wanted to highlight with the strike force pro dcl guys is that it has the dual camera lens technology so pictures are captured using a separate custom tuned camera lens for day or night shots um, I had the Browning Patriot and you know that had a similar feature where it had two different cameras and what that did really well was in low light it still grabbed full color pictures so we're gonna put this to the test like I said you guys will see everything it takes so definitely stay tuned uh, to the channel and you also do get a one-year warranty so stay tuned we're gonna go put some corn out also stay tuned to that because I'm gonna show you what works for me and what I use and uh, maybe that can help you guys get some inventory and get some deer in front of your trail camera all right guys we got the strike force pro DCL D behind me we got the uh this is actually I wanted to show you this but real quick this camera is tiny guys I really am liking the size of it real quick I like to add in tips on my trail camera reviews and let you guys know what I'm doing like I said before I'm putting this uh, big time fortified deer blend down um, and I'm also putting two bags of regular corn down uh, this has like a cherry rush flavor and scent to it so um, it really gets the deer coming in it's got some sunflower seeds um, I'm gonna do another video on just this big time fortified deer blind so um stay tuned to the channel if you guys are interested in that all right so we have the strike force pro dcl set to trail cam mode which means we're going to take pictures first okay so once we get enough of them i'll switch it to video just so we can put both in the video so you guys can see the quality that this uh strike force pro dcl has to offer so i'm gonna i'm gonna put the corn all out through here um once the deer start hitting it they'll mash all this whatever this plan is down out of the way i'll show you guys like you know everything that we get on this camera i'm a little late to actually putting this camera out in corn i usually start at like may um we're already mid-june so i don't want to waste any more time i'm going to try to get the bucks coming get you guys some velvet buck footage in trail cam mode and video mode if you guys haven't subscribed though make sure you smash that subscribe button down for me Drop a comment and let me know what Browning trail camera you guys want me to review. Also, smash that like button if you guys like these types of videos. Ring that notification bell too so you guys get my new content as soon as it drops. If you guys were wondering what mount I'm using 
uh, from my Browning Strike Force Pro DCL. It's a stick and pick uh, tree mount. So it just screws into the tree. You don't need a perfect tree. You don't need, it doesn't matter if it's smaller or bigger, like a strap. You kind of sometimes, depending on the tree, fight with that. Browning does give you a strap in your package though. But if you didn't want to use that, um, I recommend the stick and pick. It's awesome. Like I said, it works on many different angles. Um, you know, pretty much it'll work on any tree. So, you know, if you guys were curious about that, I'll link that down in the video description as well. All right, guys, I got the corn out behind me, as you can see, and I get a lot of bucks that come from down there where that creek bottom is in that corner. So I'm excited to see some velvet bucks show up. Um, stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, real quick on uh, Strike Force Pro DCL. Um, it has the motion, the aim test feature and you just scroll down to the menu hit this m right here and go down the aim test and hit ok and that's see how when i move it's lighting up so that's going to show you what the camera is going to detect okay also you know so you can make adjustments from there if it's not directly where you want it and this has a one and a half inch viewing screen on it which is an awesome feature that i highly recommend because the viewing screen like you can check your videos and photos right in the field um, you can make sure number one you got the camera you know pointed where you want and it's going to capture you know deer how you got it set up because you don't want to miss anything so that helps you avoid all of that um, and then you know you can scroll through the menus too really easily with the screen so um, I just wanted to add that in before I go we got the corn out and I'll show you guys what shows up stay tuned <laughs> all right guys we got some pictures um the camera was upside down i don't know the only issue i've ever had with these mounds is uh if a squirrel or raccoon or something gets on top you know it was upside down so i'm guessing that's what it was still got 100 percent battery life if you want to check your pictures from your camera guys you just hit the right button and then scroll so you can see that's that was me um, I want to show you real quick. This is behind me. So they absolutely tore this place up in a week. Actually, we're gonna go we're gonna go backwards because we got almost 2,000 pics to scroll through. So um, I just wanted to show you like battery life and how many pictures we got, and then uh, I'll roll all these pictures and stuff into the actual video i'm not sure when our last picture was when this thing went upside down tell you what real quick i'm gonna turn this off and pop this sd card in my phone and then you know i'll show you guys from there stay tuned guys um i'll either keep running it on pictures or i'll flip it to video either way you guys will see uh what we capture stay tuned all right guys let me give you my thoughts on the browning strike force pro dcl um, real quick, I just wanted to let you know, like, I'm always going to give you my honest opinion, no matter what my relationship is with companies. Also, my job is to make sure I give you the information, you know, to take out of these videos and make the decision on whether these products are for you or, you know, help narrow down the process of picking out one trail camera out of a ton of them drop down below though if there's a specific model of the browning trail cameras that you guys want me to do a review on okay so on top of the pictures and videos that this camera took before i put it on the bait pile it took over 500 videos and keep in mind like that was with smart infrared on which means the camera stays triggered as long as the game is still you know in front of the camera so um, and some of them clips are, that means some of the clips are a lot longer than what you set the time of the video to on the camera. So excellent battery life out of this camera. Also, I wanted to let you guys know SD management was also on. So what that means is it will overwrite the oldest footage with the newest. That way you don't miss anything. So, you know, keep that in mind too, because, you know, as far as numbers go, it could have actually took more than what it's showing. This thing takes really good pictures. Um, it also takes good video. So if you're somebody looking again, just like the Dark Ops Pro DCL for like, you know, full color uh, images and low light, 
when a lot of the big boys move around and stuff like that, like this is a great camera for that. This is what this Strike Force Pro DCL excels at with the dual camera lens technology. It's just grabbing that light in low light situations and giving you a color image versus a black and white. So just like my Dark Ops Pro DCL review guys, like the Strike Force Pro DCL has that little steel mounting uh, tree bracket on the back and it's angled so like it has that little plastic piece on the back that you can instead of shoving a stick down in there trying to find something to get the exact angle you want depending on what shot you're trying to get like you know you can just angle that lock it down and it'll keep the camera on an angle so you can use that tree strap so i just did a review on the dark ops pro dcl2 which is basically the same camera you know one of the main differences is like with the strike force pro dcl is you don't have that blacked out like tinted film on the front of the leds so you're gonna see this camera versus like the dark ops pro dcl um but the advantage of the strike force pro dcl is you're gonna get you know better nighttime pictures because the camera lights up a lot more um, covering more distance and just brightening things up a lot so like if you're on the fence and don't know which you know out of strike force pro and uh dark ops pro dcls like that's kind of the main thing um there's a little bit of a price difference but not much you know and obviously like the main thing is the only difference that's really going to be is nighttime like i didn't notice a difference in quality in pictures or video during the day they both did really good at pictures and video so one more thing i wanted to cover too guys is because i put this over bait i just you know want you guys to know too like it the time frame this camera would have lasted would have been a lot longer but you know for this video purpose i wanted to try to run this thing at its hardest to you know fit all this in the video because i know in these reviews one of the main things you guys want to see is battery life so um, i was able to do that and i hope this helps you guys out and narrowing down um, you know whether this camera is for you or not but i didn't have any issues with the camera one thing i did notice in video mode was some static noise but if you head over to browningtrailcameras.com then scroll to customer service, then go to the drop down and hit software and updates. They'll list all the firmware updates for their cameras. So chances are they'll have an update for it. I have seen this in the past. Um, not 100% on that, but uh, a lot of people give up on trail cameras and all you got to do is a firmware update. It's simple. You just pop the SD card in, drag the file to it. Take that SD card, put it back in your camera, scroll through the menu and go to firmware update and the camera will do it for you. You can do it, it takes a couple minutes tops if that. I think that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions or anything, drop them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Smash that subscribe button down for me. Give this video a like if you liked it. Also ring that notification bell too guys so you get my new content as soon as it drops. Until the next one, you have officially been out. Door. <laughs>